the invisible man by h g wells and today we are doing chapter number 8 and the title of the chapter is in transit and what is the meaning of the word transit transit means to travel to move from one place to another to be in some kind of a journey and what journey would this be uh, we'll discuss in the chapter the character uh just one uh, character here the invisible man and now we can freely call him the invisible man since the developments of chapter number 7 where he had revealed that he is nothing but a uh, nothingness he is the invisible man uh, so in chapter number 8 there is a kind of a journey that the author talks about and who is moving from one place to another it is the invisible man is traveling from iping this we know that he is traveling from iping and why is he going away from this place because he has created circumstances for himself due to which he is no longer able to stay at the inn and these circumstances have revealed themselves in the previous chapter uh so uh, because of all that violence that he had shown the element of violence has been discussed in the previous chapter all the violence that he has shown and revealing his identity of being invisible he is not welcome in the village he is running away and uh he is traveling away from iping but where is he going it is a big question mark uh, we do not know and in fact the truth is the invisible man also does not know where he is going so he is just traveling he is in transit as the title of the chapter suggests uh and the facts about him he is invisible so even though he is traveling nobody is able to see him he is without any clothes he is naked and that is why he is invisible and he has a bad cold we know this because he has been sneezing all the time and in this chapter it's a very short chapter it is just about his journey uh, the reader knows this knows this about his traveling because the author tells us the author recounts how a man sleeping in a nearby village he's he's some man who is sleeping and uh, or maybe on a bench or on the road side just cursory some man in some village and what happens is that this man uh, hears a sneezing sound so this sneezing sound has been giving away the invisible man again and again so uh this uh, invisible man is obviously invisible so he is not seen but he is heard who hears him it is a man uh sleeping somewhere by the road side and he hears a sneezing sound and uh what does he do he looks around and wants to know he he looks around and he wants to know who has been sleeping 
he who has been uh, sorry sneezing but he cannot see anyone he cannot see anyone and this is it this is it for the chapter but even though it is a small chapter it has its own significance so what is the significance of this small chapter even though it is small it has its own significance it is just a filler you must remember that sometimes authors have to put fillers in between uh, so that they can show some movement in time time is passing so filler chapters are there so this chapter is also a kind of a filler and we also know that griffin is on the move homeless without clothes and without any possessions so you can understand how difficult a situation must be for this man uh, and who is responsible actually for whatever is happening to him nobody but he himself is responsible for what is happening to him and we will just do a brief review